Cathedral ceilings can be a real nightmare for energy efficiency because first of all, you have all that space that you're heating that you can't feel, and obviously the heat rises, so you know the heat's gonna go up to the top and uh, you're not gonna feel it unless you blow it down with a ceiling fan. On top of that, they seem to be poorly insulated because it creates, there's only so much space to put insulation in there. And uh, that creates a pretty much a disastrous situation for a homeowner because you're going to basically have a lot of high energy bills. You're going to have an uncomfortable room with a really pretty ceiling that's neat to look at. But, you know, this is one fix. I've torn this whole entire ceiling apart, made a little line, cut a little line, put a level up there and cut a line in the, uh, in the wall and snapped a chalk line back to the other side and cut and remove the drywall that was up there. And as I go through, I'm removing all the insulation. And what I'm doing is I am building a new, a new ceiling. Right here, you can kind of see it, get a perspective on it. So that is my new ceiling. And what I'm doing is literally building it back one piece of drywall at a time. I add the framing right here and uh, tie that in to the existing framing. I have this little area where I can uh, I can insulate and get in here. So this is what it looks like. Welcome to my world for the next couple days or the next day or so. I have a mountain of insulation that uh, I'm creating. I'm building this up over here on this side. You can see what it looks like to me. This is the ceiling, right? Here's the ceiling. And uh, up in here is my little peephole where I can see down in and I can blow mountains of insulation down there. So there's the the drywall at the bottom and that's the edge of the drywall there's the old insulation and I'm topping it off with you know another 10 inches of uh, cellulose to beef up my R value in here I, the good news is when I cut this hole in here it gave me the opportunity to air seal replace the recessed lights with uh, IC rated insulation contact rated recessed lights um, I have the ability to air seal around a couple of the uh, skylights and some other places. So I went through probably at least 15 cans of great stuff just in this room alone. I would not say that this job is for the faint of heart. First of all, I got to get drywall 12 feet into the air. I'm doing it by myself. And um, I'm also blowing the insulation by myself. And I'll show you how to do that if you're interested. But it's slower and uh, it's really a lot faster when you have somebody else, but they seem to get really bored while I frame the rest of the roof out or the ceiling out. So I've just been kind of doing it one bag at a time and blowing it in. But this is the best way to get cellulose in there because it's going to create a nice even layer that's going to go all the way across my ceiling. So you can see I got four more sheets to go. And so I'm going to get back up on there and get at it. But I just thought. Just thought I'd take a second to show you what I'm up to. If you're sick and tired of spending too much money on your energy bills, stop by my website at howtohomeinsulation.com. You'll find the videos and information you need to start saving money on your energy bills right now. My name's Corey Binford. Thanks for watching.